This is Twit. Actually, uh, if I were a billionaire, I wouldn't be so excited about this. Have you guys heard about this? I, I know Burke has. I think Burke was panting about it earlier. This thing right here, uh, Thermal.com is a website. Seek is the name, and it is an actual... I mean, a lot of people were excited. Did you see the uh, the FLIR 1, the iPhone 5 add-on at CES, Josh? I did not. Oh, man. So basically, it's a, like a $350 back that slides onto an iPhone 5S. And what we're looking at right here, uh, there's one for Android. There's one for any of the iPhones uh, with a lightning connector. And it, um, it's crazy uh, because it's essentially a $200 thermal imaging camera. So if, I, if you pull it up, so I, I kind of find this find, have found this stuff fascinating ever since we installed one of FLIR's Pathfinders into uh, my truck for an episode of System a thousand years ago. And it allows you essentially night vision, right? Because it's doing thermal differentiation. Um, were you hunting micro down terrorists? Were you, were you launching Hellfire missiles at anyone? Did you ever have one of those nights uh, on a small highway in Wyoming where all of the coyotes try to stuff themselves underneath your truck? Yes. Um, my interest in, so, you know, this is relatively close range stuff, but what we're looking at right here is that's, that's, it's a tough environment in doors during the day because our office is actually about 75 degrees. But what that is is a bunch of people walking down the hallway. And what's crazy is you can have a pitch black room. That's the obligatory picture of someone's hand before they leave the handprint. But, what you're looking at these images because it's not measuring visible light waves, but infrared white light waves, you can basically see in a perfectly black room. Um, you're not going to see as much detail as you would sort of with a, you know, two or three megapixel camera. So, um, so essentially Jody Foster would have killed for this back in 1988. Oh yeah. Or whatever year that was. 92. <laughs> well, it's funny. So you see that right there. So, this is one of our editing rooms, right? And the editing rooms sit next to these huge windows and they get up to like 100 degrees. So we have uh, standalone, uh, those sort of roll-in AC units. This is the hose walking out of the AC unit. If I put this into temperature mode, that hose will measure between 95 and 105 degrees. And right over here, we have a basic human body running at like 97, 98.6. Um, but what's crazy about this is... Whether you're using this to look at sort of the thermal imaging from a building, let me pull this back. Um, the the even used, um, you know, like a five or eight year old handheld uh, thermal imaging camera, like the kind that you see contractors carrying, um, is crazy, right? So right there, you're looking at basically the heat loss inside of the building. Okay, that's that's the security aspect. Is there somebody in the backyard? And it's kind of trippy when you realize that you know you can't see anyone, but they glow really brightly on the market. Oh. It's, Somebody's been walking through the house. Somebody was apparently using this in the beta phase to tell whether or not their dog had been uh, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> I think that's actually Velociraptor tracks. Uh, I hate Velociraptor tracks. I know. Um, this is, uh, let's see, that is the classic uh, northbound cat from the southbound view. But that was basically pitch black. Couldn't see the cat at all in the backyard uh, until I shot the image at it. And it's it's interesting because this is, we've never seen anything like this at this price range. Um, the, you know, thermal imaging camera um, is typically selling even used a couple, three, four years old for like $1,000 uh, on eBay. New, I think a Pathfinder, which is a, a higher resolution, like 320 by 240 sensor is somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,500. And that's a kit you have to install yourself. Um, so this is pretty crazy. 200 bucks for Android, 200 bucks for iPhone, $199. Uh, orders are up now at thermal.com. I'm fascinated by it. I'm also sort of, you know, I, 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 I am really, really into figuring out where the thermal loss in my house is uh, and people are using them for hunting and for looking for animals while they're camping. Um, it's interesting uh, and it's cheap for what this is. This is literally like a tenth of the price of anything out there other than the FLIR one. And the FLIR one is only going to work with the iPhone 5 or 5S. So I'm pretty excited about this. We'll see what we can hack this into on an episode of uh, Die Trying in the near future. I also want to see more resolution. Uh, and the software is in beta, but it's it, they're doing a pretty good job of updating it. I'm kind of curious to see how well it works because they're claiming the the thermal, basically when you put it into the temperature mode, um, so if I actually get the application to come up, and there's an actual temperature mode. Well, <laughs> did I mention it's in beta? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. So if you put it into the thermal mode, um, it'll take a temperature. And they're claiming within an accurate of a degree, which is pretty good for a $200 piece of software that's in beta. But oh, let's see if we can get... There we go. And the wall is not nearly as hot, although it's still hotter than heck in this office. But yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's really I'm just... Cool. I'm really excited about this, but I've also been playing about the, like playing with these and not being able to afford them for like eight years now. <laughs> I'm like, yes, there's one I can afford and still well, feed It's going to be great for, you know, people who want to like see hotspots on a motherboard. You just take a picture right. with that $200 thing instead of, I remember when a non-tech got uh, some $3,500 flare thing that they're excited about. It's like 200 bucks, dude. It's great. Actually, I, I could have sworn I had a picture of a keyboard in here. Although you can see the windows just losing heat on my neighbor's house right there. They're still tuning the software. That's not my favorite image. <laughs> it's also amazing when you realize how much heat is held in by uh, concrete. Um, yeah, there's a lot of thermal density there. That's a, that's a sidewalk at night. And then... Yeah. Uh, yeah, the steps on the fronts of houses just retain an absolute massive amount of of heat. Thermal mass is cool, man. Um, should I take a keyboard shot really quickly? Take there a keyboard go. shot real quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, the MacBook Air. Will this show off your uh, usual password keys? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's interesting when you, when you say that, um, you would have to be, oh, there it is in terms of an actual laptop keyboard. So I don't know if you can see that, but the it's running a hundred degrees. I've seen them as high as 105 degrees in our office playing around with it. So that's a MacBook air keyboard. Um, I don't think your password is going to show up very well unless all of your keys are down at the bottom half of the at yeah. the bottom half of the keyboard. I have not had a chance to walk up to a banking, uh, uh, an ATM machine yet. <laughs> but I will do that after this show and hopefully not get arrested in the process. Because the SFPD, they, they tend to be cranky when they're cranky. Uh, not that I would know anything about that. But Seek is the name of the device. Thermal.com is the website. Uh, they're taking orders now. So I'm excited about that. 